Hi everyone, it's Yvonne and welcome to my channel. Tonight's video is going to be about skincare. Now, obviously, I can't tell you what's going to work for your skin, but I'm just going to tell you what my current skincare regimen is. Now, I'm going to admit to you I'm 32 years old and I just started taking care of my skin about four months ago. I know that's bad, right? Anyway, um, I knew sooner or later I was going to have to start a skincare regimen. And uh, I eventually woke up one day and just said, listen, I got to do what I got to do. So previous to what I was doing here, I was using a Dove Beauty Bar, which, you know, that's old school, because um, I'm kind of old school sometimes. And I did that, and then I followed that up with a toner, which I still use, but that was what my skincare consisted of, was a old school Dove Beauty Bar and a toner. So I'm going to get started and show you what I'm using now. So my cleanser, we start off with the Olay. And this is the Total Effect 7-in-1, uh, I believe it's a neutralizing foaming cleanser. I use this twice a day, morning and night. And um, I have a combination oily and dry skin. So I'm very oily in my T-zone and you know around my cheeks here and on my chin but I, I get very 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 dry skin around my nose area so that's why I use the combination um, and since I started using this I do see a difference in the um, oil production of my skin it's definitely gone down a lot with that so that's twice a day and then I follow that up with the Queen Helene Mint Julep Scrub. Now, this is definitely an old school product with new packaging now. I don't know if you guys remember the old one, but it's new packaging. Um, now, I know you're not supposed to do this, but I use this daily as well. And what I do is, because I have such dry skin around my nose, um, I use a tiny, tiny little amount when I say, like, just a little drop on my finger and I rub that around my nose area and that seems to keep the dry skin away before that I was using a buff puff and I think maybe even the sensitive one was too harsh because I would do that and the skin it would just be worse it, like it wasn't improving it was just getting worse so I no longer use a buff puff for that um, it just you know, just a small little, maybe a pea size amount. Rub that into my nose during my shower, and it seems to be keeping the dry skin at bay. Then, once a week, um, I will take a larger amount and really rub that over my whole face, like rub it in really, really, really well, and let it sit about a minute, and then I rinse it off. Then, once a week, um, I use the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. Now, the scrub here, this is the scrub, has a mint sensation, but it's not overwhelming. There's a mint sensation in the mask, and I do find this to be overwhelming. So I'm currently looking for another mask, and I tried the Freeman's um, Avocado and Oatmeal Mask. I had found a little uh, sample size, you know, they have like these flat sample packets for $1.99, and I fell in love with that thing. It's got the same consistency, the same texture, but there's no mint to it. It's cooling without that tingling sensation that after a few minutes turns into a burn. That's what this does. And don't get me wrong, my skin feels amazing after I take this off, and it works, and it, you know, my skin's in great condition, but I don't like the mint sensation that, that starts off cold and then turns into a burn. So if you don't like that sensation, I would not recommend it. If you do, go for it. It's up to you. Now, when I'm done with the three of those, what I do is I use the Neutrogena Clear Pore Toner, um, or Astringent, but I call it a toner. I've been doing that forever. Um, I sometimes alternate with the Sea Breeze but the sea breeze for some t sometimes I don't know I find the sea breeze to be a little harsher um I don't know 
it's just me sometimes the sea breeze feels a little bit too drying to my skin so I tend to stick with this one and just to bring this back up um, before I started this whole skincare regimen when I was just using the Dove Beauty Bar I always followed up with this and I always noticed a lot of oil even after I wash my face now with the skincare regimen I still use this just because it's force of habit um, but I do find that there is next to nothing if anything at all when I in, in terms of oil when I use this toner so because of that um, I really feel like my skin is getting a lot better there's less oil I'm definitely breaking out a lot less I mean I still have you know I wouldn't call my skin flawless by any means but I definitely have a lot less breakouts um, what I do have is like just minor tiny little bumps that you can feel but really not even see half the time and um, it's definitely gotten a lot better since I started using this and let's move on to moisturizer so the moisturizer is the Olay complete all-day moisturizer with sunscreen it's the broad spectrum SPF 15 for combination oily skin so that's what I use for moisturizer and this is my morning moisturizer at night I have been using the Lancome Benfate Multivital Night can't even pronounce the first word let me see if I can focus this for you I think that's in, let's see. I hope that's in focus. Can't really tell. Oh, that's as good as it's going to get, I think. Uh, well, I hope you can see that. I apologize if you can't. I am working on getting a better camera. And then the last thing I do for an eye cream at night is the Tarte C Brightener Eye Treatment and that's this. It's a little purple glass jar and that's what it looks like. So that's what I've been doing. Um, now the reason I did this video like this is obviously it's a skincare video. This is to show you I'm not perfect, my skin's not perfect. Um, I think it's important that we remember at the end of the day that makeup is not necessary. It's fun, it's a hobby, but it's not necessary. And you know, I stress this when I say I was one of those girls that always felt like, oh my god, I can't leave the house without my makeup. And there are days where I still have that insecurity, but I'll be honest with you. Um, I have a two-year-old and a three-year-old and my three-year-old's in school and I don't have time in the morning. I have to get her to school. I'm not worried about what I look like. I need to get her to school. Now, if I had a job to go to, I'd make sure to put on some makeup before I got to work because I think presentation is everything when you're in a, you know, an employment, like in your job environment. But as far as getting my daughter to school, I'm not interested in what the other parents think of me. So I just walk out the house and I, when I say to you, I literally leave my house like this every day. I'm not interested. I don't care what people think of me. It's not necessary. And there was a time where I thought very differently, but now that's gone. And it is what it is, you know. Um, you have to learn to be comfortable with who you are. And that's all I want to say, you know, just be happy with you. So that concludes tonight's video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. And have a good night. Thank you for watching. Bye.